Like this. It. <laughs> a bit bright for you. <laughs> Shall I turn it down? Let me turn it down. Let me turn it down. Is that all right? This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Carol, we must be delighted to be back in the ring. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, had that short notice fight last in, the, well, in December. Um, so I'm, this time I had a full camp. I'm ready to go out then and show the improvements. And you looked in fantastic shape uh, last time you do again. Yeah, but obviously it's a bit different when you've got a 10 days notice and you know when you've got a full camp. So um, I'm hoping it's going to show in this time. So how long have you had for this? Well, generally, I'm still on the four-rounders, so we still had like a good six-week camp, um, you know, just getting over the little bits and getting them all sorted. Do you believe, like, you've made... I know you've got a much longer camp, so we are going to see improvements in this performance, we hope, anyways, but do you feel like, just in the gym, generally, you've made significant improvements since that last fight? Yeah, I feel like, like not significant, but, like, tiny twigs. Because at the end of the day, it's all them mar small marginal gains. Um, yeah, six weeks, like, making weight was easier. Everything was perfect, so... I'm feeling good and ready for Saturday. Feel like there's a potentially explosive performance on Saturday night. Do you know what? I'm I'm looking forward to it. We've got a game plan. I'm going to stick to that, and if it comes, it comes. Fair enough. Fair enough. Do you know it much about your opponent, Carol? Um, do you know what? I leave that all to my coaches. Um, I trust them enough. I've been with them since I was a 14-year-old amateur. Um, we talk tactics. We tr we do in sessions, and then I trust what they what they've got to tell me. And hopefully everything goes to plan on Saturday night. What is the overall plan, the bigger picture for this year? You must have discussed that with your team at the start of the year. What do you want out of 2021? Mm. At the moment, just 2021 is full about getting experience, you know, getting more rounds in, perhaps six rounders, maybe even touch the eight nearer to the end of the year. It's all about getting experience so that when we hit the 2022, 2023, I'll be more ready and developed. Ready for them kind of big nights and big fights? Absolutely, but all that comes with time. Carol, I do want to quickly, it's a bit of a random one, but uh, a video of your brother surfaced on the internet uh, with Joe Joyce. What the hell was that all about? Yeah, the <laughs> yeah so Rico, my younger brother, he's heavyweight, um, ridiculous talent. Uh, and obviously we were in Lawrence Coley's camp getting ready for his world title fight. And then Rico just went and sparred Joe Joyce. And I wasn't there to see it, but um, I heard it was a madness. Got the spa, yeah? yeah? I heard it was quite a good, really good spa, yeah. Well, yeah, that clip that was surfacing was an interesting one, though, when he ran straight at him. Yeah, a bit different, isn't it? How good is your brother? Really good, really good. Better like, than you? I, I feel like once people get to see him as well, it will, um, they, people will see, like, yeah, he's, he's a talent. Like, heavyweight, southpaw, quick, sharp, strong. You two, I bet you two have done some good rounds. Well, yeah, well, it was a bit easier, like, like when we were younger, but nowadays, like, got 25 kilos on me. <laughs> it's a bit different. OK, well, listen, Carol, wish you the best of luck this Saturday night. We'll obviously have a, great, uh, a talk after the fight and see how you've done. Uh, is there anything you'd like to add before we close off? No, all good. Just looking forward to Saturday and everyone tuning in. Top man. Thanks, Thanks, mate. Mate. Thank you, Emma.